Uh, meanwhile, what did David Cameron do recently in an attempt to boost his own popularity? Cut his throat. <laughs> <laughs> we, would have, we would have heard about that, wouldn't we? <laughs> uh, uh, it's supposed to be Twitter. <laughs> oh, yes. yes, of course he joined Tweet. Twitter. According to the Mail, Cameron spent the weekend being bombarded with abuse. <laughs> <laughs> and then he joined Twitter. Um, <laughs> anyway, you, you are on Twitter, aren't you, all the time? Yes. So what did Cameron say on Twitter? What, what's he telling us? Oh, I don't follow him. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, on the sort of substance of the conference, what were the big policy announcements this week? We're going back to being the nasty party. Oh, summer. you can. That's OK. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> We've had seven years of hugger hoodie and, you know... <laughs> now they've dumped all that crap and it's back to, you know, beat up the poor. Yeah. Beat up who? The poor. Beat up the poor? I missed that slogan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can beat up burglars now as long as you're not grossly disproportionate. So you can, you can kill them, but you can't poo on their head. <laughs> And just to make sure that we were certain of what we could and couldn't do, Justice Secretary Chris Grayling told the Today programme, I think if a burglar is out cold on the floor and you stick a knife in him, that, in my judgment, would be grossly disproportionate.